So I've been getting told to cover the bald eagle for a while now, and that's probably because a lot of people have been seeing me use it on stream for the target practice, and I don't know, it feels good to use this weapon. I use dual wield, switch between both of them, it's a very, very accurate weapon with a first shot accurate resets after every single shot, and that's because if you're going to be using the bald eagle or any pistol like it, precision is kind of going to be key, or else this weapon will not be nearly as effective as many other weapons, because the bald eagle is not spraying prey. It is not a pistol that shoots very fast. In fact, you'll see with some of the perks that I'm running on it that I am trying to make up for a lot there. But what it is good at is doing high damage to a single target, provided that you can hit your shots, and it is brutal. So coming to my schematic here, you can see that its headshot multiplier is insane, and the only way you're getting meaningful damage out of this, unless you run crit, which we'll definitely talk about later. And you can see that I have one of those schematics where headshot eliminations cause an explosion. This was me working with the only schematic that I've ever gotten, but if I'm not mistaken, you can probably get a flick or slowed and snared i've never actually seen a copy of this but i fully assume that it is an option and if there is an option for it let me know in the comments below and please check if somebody else already said it because in a year from now that's going to be annoying but suffice it to say that if you do have slowed and snared or affliction then of course you'll have more options in the fifth perk there but because of my headshot eliminations i actually opted to go for miss monsters and bosses so this schematic is all over the place and let's try to sort things out so first and foremost i run fire rate on this thing because it's a very slow firing weapon and i know that a lot of people are going to want me to run crit build on this and you could go crit rating crit damage it does have a base 15 percent chance and especially if you're using two of these you're not going to be hit by that fire rate by you know nearly as much so it might not be a bad way to go to just go crit rating crit damage on this again i wouldn't recommend that unless you're switching between two of these but you could you could even go double crit damage if you were running totally rocking out but eh, i wouldn't really recommend that for a pistol build uh, and of course you really need the reload speed here it's it's just necessary this is a slow firing slow reload load weapon that just needs as much help as it can get and i found personally speaking just running around today getting some gameplay and all the times that i've used this thing in the past with fire rate and headshot damage and you know upping that headshot multiplier as high as it goes with a reload perk and damage to miss monsters it's actually pretty good i have a physical schematic which was just me using it as like a miss monster slayer back in the day but you can see that it was faring really really well against elemental enemies like fatties the only time i ever had any issue in any of these fights were well you know the uh, elemental smasher but who doesn't have issues with those guys so if you have the headshot eliminations cause an explosion that's actually kind of a perk because if you guys have been keeping up with any of my videos recently and you've watched any of my pistol guides like the duelist or the vacuum tube revolver you'll know that i really like headshot eliminations cause an explosion because it gives you a nice area of effect damage where it explodes and hits everything around it and it really um it helps you take care of crowds a lot better when you're only firing one shot at a time but of course seeing as the popularity from this weapon certainly came from me using it almost exclusively on target practice. It's not really something I'll personally use regularly in missions. You do have to dual wield this, so it's a lot like the Browbeater, which is a very, very hard-hitting shotgun. I'll link that video in the description below, but if you're not going to be using two of those going back and forth double pumping, I don't really see that that weapon's as viable. So, let me run through these perks again just to make sure I got it clear. Crit rating, crit damage, if you're kind of a madman and you really like rolling the dice, I find fire rate and headshot damage to be very, very consistent if you're capable of hitting your shots. Personally, I think reload is almost entirely necessary, but if you really don't mind the reload, you could go for an extra damage perk there. If you're finding that you're leaving enemies on just a sliver of HP, you might go for that route, but if you're if you're really finding yourself in that position, perhaps a damage perk instead of fire rate might actually be the better way to go there in that case. And then, of course, as I mentioned at the very beginning, if your sixth perk is Affliction, which is kind of optimal for a weapon that fires one shot at a time, or slowed and snared, you are going to want to match that fifth perk to the sixth perk as per usual and I left mine physical and that's because this is an old schematic you guys I use this for miss monsters if you're going to be using the bald eagle in everyday missions energy will be the best all around and then you know fire because as of recording this nature zombies are very popular but that won't be true forever so energy is typically my recommendation but if you're using this for miss monsters I really do think I'll be keeping mine physical but like I said I use this almost exclusively for target practice if I was going to start using the schematic though I would definitely switch mine to energy boy pretty quick video what do I do here plug memberships on the channel and my creator code or something hope you guys enjoyed the video like the video if you like to dislike it if you dislike to subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a nice day <laughs>